A unique slice of Sydney parkland is a step closer to World Heritage listing, with the state government joining a long-running community campaign. If successful, the Royal National Park would join the Great Barrier Reef in the list of natural icons. This could easily be on a tropical island. But instead, it's just a short drive from Sutherland at Wattamolla in the Royal National Park. The rich photographic history of the park stretches back almost a century. Gary Beach, 70 odd years ago, hosting surf carnivals, Audrey Weir, well, take a look for yourself. In many ways, not a lot has changed over the last 90 years here at Audley. We've still got the pavilion and the boat shed, and families are still enjoying the great outdoors. Simple things like boating and enjoying the natural wonders. And if you really want to get away from things, leave your mobile phone in the car. You bring it out, it won't work anyway. Extra protection and status is now a step closer, with the state government beginning the process to have the park on the World Heritage Register. Obviously a park needs to meet certain benchmarks in order to meet World Heritage standards. We know this park was the first in Australia and only the second in the world. The park already has 4 million visitors a year. I'd recommend this to anybody to come visit this location. It's spectacular. The federal government is expected to sign off on the application and then the case has to be made to international delegates that the park has enough cultural and natural heritage and is of outstanding universal value. This most significant achievement in the conservation movement of the world is the birthing of the National Park Movement. And Royal National Park's right there at that beginning, one of the pioneer parks with Yellowstone in Yosemite. Kevin Wilde, Nine News.